myself alright To knock you out of my life Cause I ain't gonna fly by night I ain't gonna shy down tight Cause I ain't gonna fly by What's up boys, welcome to another Challenger in 3 series, today I'm playing Victor. Firstly, these are the stock standard runes and masters you want to run, just screenshot if you want to copy them down. When it comes down to summoner spells, you can pretty much run whatever you want. I personally really like to run Ghost, but you can also run TP, Cleanse, Exhaust, uh, Ignite, you can run really whatever you want. The key to being a good Victor player is not being a pussy in lane. Victor has one of the strongest levels 1 to 3, so you've got to make use of that and really harass your opponent with your Q, making sure to utilize that shield that you get with your Q when you trade, and also using your E to have some long range poke. The ability order you want to go is starting Q so you can harass in your lane, and then you want to put two points into your E following just so you can get maximum damage off and a lot of poke. These are the two main build paths for Victor above. If you can, max hex core early and then go into Rylas, but if you need to go situational, you can just upgrade your hex core twice to the blue one and then afterwards max it out late game. You want to be aiming to get about 1.2k before you're back so that you can upgrade your hex core, get a pink ward and a couple potions and head back to lane. Once you've upgraded your E from your hex core, you can start one-shotting the backline minions, meaning you can push the wave in, roam or even take jungle camps easily with your E. Victor actually has a shit ton of burst and damage in lane and you can surprise the enemy and definitely get solo kills. Or you can actually just use your ultimate to zone away your enemy and start getting a dominant CS and XP lead. If you place your E correctly, it's actually an instant cast, so make sure that you're using the start of your laser on your opponent. When it comes to the mechanics with Victor, the crucial thing you need to be doing is cancelling the animation on your Q for maximum damage per second. This is the main way you can separate an average Victor player from a great Victor player. The way you do it is after your initial Q is thrown, you need to take a step on the ground and then attack your opponent again. As you can see here, this is what the standard Q is like. See how it's really slow? Then this is the animation cancel where your Q procs much quicker. Once you master this mechanic, you can fully cancel the animation like this, and you can start to surprise your enemy with quick bursts and efficient combos. Another essential part of Victor's kit is when you have upgraded your hex score twice to the blue one and using your Q to chase down enemies with the movement speed bonus you get. Also, don't forget you can cast your E to reveal bushes, or also, you can cast your E on terrain to get maximum range. Victor is a great control mage, and late game you want to be grouping with your teammates, looking for picks, and maximizing your AoE damage. Make sure to use your W where your opponent is moving towards and not where they are in that moment. Also, use your W for sieges to zone away the enemy. That's Challenger in 3 guys and thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.